Hey golfers, Michael Geiger here with Second Swing. I'm here with uh, Mr. Larry Bobka, a custom fitter. Larry, today we are answering a question that I think a lot of golfers have. I think we hear about toe relief, heel relief. These are words that are thrown around, but right. some golfers might not be familiar. How would you describe heel and toe relief to the layman, the average golfer? Well, let me have this one first. So this is a, this is a Vokey 58 degree K grind with 14 degrees of bounce. If we take a look at it, the sole is very wide. It looks very similar. There's, there's a little bit of camber front to back, back to front. But if you look at it, it's a very full sole on mm -hmm. the wedge, okay? So back in the day, I'm a little bit older than you are, um, players would come in, especially when I worked at Wilson in the 80s, is, is conditions got firmer on golf courses on the PGA Tour. They started to pull some of the heel and the toe back on their wedges to give them more versatility in mm -hmm. their golf shots. Okay, so this is kind of a full sole design. Hey, if I'm going in the bunker, this is gonna splash out okay. the most sand. You know, great wedge for soft sand. Okay, so now if we talk about some relief, you know, a very similar sole on here on the D grind, but as you can see, it's all gone, mm -hmm. okay? There is heel and toe relief. This has been pulled down, this has been pulled down, so it doesn't catch on firm turf, okay? okay? Maybe you're playing a golf course that's got firmer sand, shallower sand. It's a little bit easier to get that club through. So when you roll that club open, you don't get that point of that, of that heel right. sticking out, okay? If you think about some of the great wedges in the past, the original ping eye wedges, same kind of grind, had a flat spot here, had a lot of bounce, but everything was pulled away yep. to make them a little bit more functional and make them a little bit more playable, okay? So now if we go into this, this is a stricker wedge or a, a, an S wedge, not as much about fuller sole, yep. just a little bit because Stricker's technique is a little bit more dead-handed. He likes to have a little bit more sole on the golf club. So it's really important that depending on how you play your shots to come in and talk to a fitter here at Second Swing and talk about what you need. Talk about the golf course you play most of mm -hmm. the time. Talk about your technique. Um, one of the things I see as being a short game instructor is I see players with a really nice short game, really good swing, really do a nice job, and then they have the wrong club in their hand. Yeah. You know, my analogy is it's kind of like having, it's kind of like trying to eat soup with a fork. Exactly. You know, it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, you've got to get something in your hand that, that helps, especially in your technique, in shots around the green where you're not hitting it full. You know, most of the time we're trying to hit a wedge shot with the shaft at 90 degrees because that gives us the full loft and the full bounce. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I'm not manipulating that, I, I need I need the right club. Okay, and especially like you're talking about the full one. Yep. If I have a tendency to play my shots like this, well, I don't want any heel relief. Right. I want I want as much sole as I can because I'm going to have a tendency to dig. Now, a player that might want to open up the club more, he's probably going to go with something more with that design. With relief, right? Yeah, with more relief because it's going to be gone. So a lot of it is it's very much technique based, yep. and you have to decide what's the best what's the best for you, and you also have to think about in a set of wedges where if you're playing three wedges, if you're playing a, a pitching wedge, a sand wedge, and a lob wedge you might want to vary those bounces. Mm -hmm. You might want to vary, so it gives you more flexibility through your golf bag. Yep. To come in and just order a set of wedges or get a set of wedges that are all the same bounce, doesn't make a lot of sense. You take a look at some of the great wedge players, you know, um, since having worked with Tiger a lot, you know. He's he, pretty good around the greens. He's pretty good he's around it, but he had a 56 degree with low bounce, and he had a 60 degree with high bounce. Yep because that's what he wanted. He wanted to have that, 
He wanted to have that variation that he could play a bunch of different shots. Uh, Brad Faxon, great friend, same way. Fax always varied his 56 and his 60, but he did it the opposite. He had a lot of bounce on his 56 Interesting. and very little bounce on his 60 because he didn't, like to, he didn't like to open up that 60. He hit the 60 a lot more with square face. So there's a lot of variables yeah. to playing wedge shots. There's a lot of variables to heel and toe relief. Heel and toe relief is great as long as it fits your, te right. your technique. Right. So that's why I'd suggest coming in and, and working with a fitter here to really decide what's going to be the best one for you. Definitely. It sounds like there's no real rule of thumb. Like I think some players might think lower bounce is only for single-digit handicap players and high bounce is only for for players that shoot in the 90s, but it sounds like, hey, maybe I live on you know the coast of Oregon with firm turf, maybe I need more heel relief, and, and it, it, it's a little more complicated than just, oh, I, I shoot this number, I have this bounce. Well, I'll give, you, I'll give you a perfect example. Having worked for Titleist for 19 years, you go over to the British Open. The first thing that most players did when they got to the British Open was get a 60 degree wedge with less bounce. Right. Because you're playing like basically off of concrete. I mean, it's very firm. Bunkers are very shallow, but deep. They're shallow from the amount of sand in there, but they're deep pot bunkers. I need a club where I can get underneath and get it up in the air. Okay, that's great. They left the British Open and then they came back and went back to their old wedge when right. they got back to the United States. Exactly. So it's, it's based on conditions, it's based on technique, and yes, there is no, if you look here, there's no handicap numbers written on the golf club. Yep. Whatever works best for you. Perfect. Well, if you want to find the wedge that's best for you, we recommend you coming into Second Swing and speaking to one of our master fitters. Perhaps you're lucky enough to uh, speak to Mr. Bobka, as lucky as I am. So please go into Second Swing or speak to a master fitter over the phone today.